my name is Takuya Nakata from Graduate School of Engineering, Kobe University, Japan. And uh, I'd like to talk about employing large language models for, uh, oh, sorry, coming up. So I'd like to talk about employing large language models for a dialogue-based personalized needs extraction in smart services. Mm -hmm. And this is a presentation overview, research background, goal and approaches, implementation, experiment, discussion, and conclusion. First, as background of this research, uh, I'll explain personalization. Personalization is a process of modifying the system's functionality, interface, information access, content, and uniqueness to increase the individual or a group's individual relevance. So service personalization includes consumer satisfaction and willingness to use services. Approaches to personalization include machine learning, dialogue, and CLS, and so on. Personalization with machine learning um, recommends services based on the user's data, like service usage history and purchase history. And this method is high, high accurate and used for online shopping and SNS. Next, in personalization with dialogue, uh, the system analyzes dialogue logs between user and virtual agent. User models are updated and reflected in functionality, and users can ask questions and provide feedback to the system. So this method is used for a smart speaker and healthcare agent. Uh, CLS, a conversational recommendation, recommendation system, uh, is, used, uh, is using both machine learning and dialogue. So in personalization with CLS, users can ask questions and provide feedback. And the CLS also uses machine learning for recommendations using dialogue logs. There are some problems with conventional personalization method in machine learning, explainability of how recommend and no user participation in the recommendation process. In dialogue, accuracy of recommendations without machine learning. And also in CLS, explainability is a problem as well as machine learning. So the challenge is to develop a new personalization method that combines explainability and accuracy. We think that a new needs extraction method that is both explainable and accurate is needed. And this is our previous research, dialogue-based needs extraction method using classical natural language processing. In this method, the system obtains dialogue content through a spoken dialogue agent and uh, extracts and stores needs in an easy to understand six W's and one H format using NLP. Uh, in concrete, uh, morphological and syntactic analysis. And this is the six W's and one H needs model. How, what, when, where, who, whom, why, and seven elements. So how element means how the service will be executed. So uh, this element is the service itself. And what element means what specifically the users wants to do from the service. So this is a core element. And when element means when the service is executed and where element is where uh, the service is executed. And who and whom element means subject and object, object of the service execution. And why element are the conditions and the purpose of the service execution. For example, if the speech content is, I want the smart speaker to notify my grandfather in the living room with a loud sound at 6.30 every morning if the weather forecast predicts rain. Uh, how element is smart speaker? So here, and uh, what element is uh, notified, uh, notified with a loud voice? And when element is at 6.30 every morning? And where element is living room? And who element is none because the uh, um, service execution subject is smart speaker, not, not person? And uh, whom element is my grandfather? 
And the final element is if the weather forecast predicts rain. So dialogue flow, um, first step, a user speaks about their needs. And uh, step two, a dialogue agent asks the user repeatedly about missing six Ws and one H elements to improve the accuracy. And uh, step three, at the end of the dialogue, the user checks whether the extraction results are accurate. And in the future challenge, uh, it is needed to recommend services using the needs. Uh, but in this research presentation, we focus on limitations of needs extraction by morphological and syntactic analysis. First, um, it is difficult to distinguish between foo and foom elements. For, for example, uh, I play games with Bob. So, so as I say, so Bob is subject or object. So it is depends on the context. So when there is a clause about a person, it needs to determine whether the person is the subject or the object of the service. And it is also difficult to extract why element because context is important for reasons and conditions for the execution. And at last, um, it is very difficult to extract needs from complex sentences. How to extract in utterances related to multiple service executions? So the speech content is if I want to listen to music and karaoke with video service and music service, which service do they want to use to execute which action? I want to karaoke with video service or music service. It is difficult problem. So the goal of this research is to construct a method to extract six W's and one H needs data from complex natural language needs utterances to improve the diversity and accuracy of needs extraction. The key idea is to build a method to extract six W's and one H needs data from complex natural, need, natural language needs utterances using LLM. And uh, we took uh, three approaches. Approach one, construction of the needs extraction and restoration API using LLM. And uh, uh, two, design of the overall architecture. And uh, three, design of the dialogue flow. So before uh, talking about the approach, uh, I will explain LLM, large scale, large scale language models. LLMs are NLP models trained on large amounts of text data and they can be specialized for specific tasks through so fine tuning. And GPT is a LLM developed by OpenAI, and it is capable of various NLP tasks like text generation, translation, document summarization, and so on. And ChatGPT was announced in 2022 and attracted a great deal of attention, and ChatGPT uh, was developed based on GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. And prompt engineering is uh, templates of natural language input to LLM to increase the accuracy and specify output format. And uh, one of prompt engineering techniques uh, is future prompting. And it, uh, this technique is to input some question answer pairs as examples. Then, I'll talk about approach one, construction of the needs API using LLM. So we designed three types of APIs. And API means program with interfaces easy to handle from the outside. So three APIs are needs extraction API, needs re-extraction API, and needs restoration API. Needs extraction API extracts six W's and one H needs from utterances, and the purpose is to extract new user needs. And the uh, re extraction API re extracts six W's and one H needs from past six W's and one H needs and new utterances. So the purpose is to synthesize six, uh, six W's and one H elements that were missing in the past and need restoration API restores needs sentences from six W's and one H needs to uh, explain the extraction result. 
So this is, uh, these are the API implementation details. Uh, we use model GPT 3.5 Turbo and the sampling temperature is 0, 0.0 and we used few short prompting. In this extraction API, uh, LLM inputs are speech content and how candidate. How candidate is uh, uh, almost equal to service name uh, extracted from speech content. And the LLM output is six W's and one H uh, data list. So in this uh, example, speech content is, I want to connect with people who match my interests on SNS and share real time content. And uh, how candidate SNS is extracted from here. And uh, in the result, um, who element I from here and the people who match interests from here and what element um, uh, is extracted from here and how element is uh, the same as how candidate. And uh, by using this API, multiple needs can be extracted from a single statement for both single or multiple services. For example, Speech content is I want to mm -hmm, healthcare app and uh, cooking up mm -hmm, and how candidates are healthcare app or cooking up. Extracting output uh, may be uh, several six W's and one niche about healthcare app and several six W's and one niche ab uh, about cooking up. Next, needs re extraction API. Re extracts the new six W's and one match from all six W's and one match and the additional speech content. So LLM inputs are all the six W's and one match speech content and how candidate extracted from all the six W's and one match. And LLM output is new six W's and one match. So in this uh, example, uh, in all the six W's and one niche, where and when element is empty, but the API re extract um, these elements from speech content. So uh, here and uh, other elements are extract from, extracted from all the six W's and one niche. So these elements and these elements are almost same. And uh, uh, it is a difficult problem, but uh, multiple six W's and one each needs may be re-extracted. So which six W's and one each is the uh, update one and which is completely new um, is a difficult problem. So I'll explain the following uh, after slide. And in need legislation API, uh, API recovers the needs statement from six W's and one each needs data. So LLM input is six W's and one each data and LLM output is speech content. So in this example, every day, uh, the output is every day, I want to use SNS to connect with people who match my interests and to share real time content anywhere. Next, I'll explain about uh, overall architecture and uh, how that system works. So in step one, user utters a need statement to virtual agent and uh, agent uh, so records the uh, need statement by uh, with, with sound mm -hmm. and speech recognition API extracts sentences from the recording and sentences are passed to the dialogue based needs extraction system, this blue system. And then uh, user, identi user identification. So user management system determines if the user is a registered user. And then um, 
Tekist normalization in step six and in step seven, a system gets service name list from the service management system. And then in step eight, a system extracts how element, so this is the service names uh, included in sentences. Then uh, this is a, a core step, step nine, uh, system extracts six W's and one H needs from sentences using the needs extraction API with GPT chat API. And step 10, uh, system accumulates six W's and one H needs in needs database. And this is a response generation flow. And uh, step 11 is optional step. Um, system restores needs sentences from six W's and one H needs with the needs restoration API. And uh, the conditions of uh, this step are explained in approach three. So um, next, uh, in step 12, the system generates appropriate response sentences from dialogue content and uh, pass uh, response sentences to dialogue agent and dialogue agent speaks response sentences to the user. This is our uh, all steps. And next, we design dialogue flow. So two dialogue flows. Uh, dialogue one responds to a new need statement, and dialogue two is to a uh, response to an additional statement. So dialogue one, and in step one, system extracts six W's and one H from the received speech content using the extraction API. And in step two, if there are missing six W's and one H, like here um, in this example, when element is missing, so system requests additional information pulled from the user in the dialogue. And in step three, if there is no missing six W's and one H, system restores the need statement using the restoration API and uh, con confirm with the user whether the need is extracted correctly. Next, dialogue two responds to an additional statement. In step one, system retrieves six W's and one is extracted in the past from database. And step two, system re-extracts new six W's and one H from the received additional utterances and past six W's one H using re-extraction re API. Step three, if multiple six W's and one H are re-extracted, system calculate the Levenstein distance. This is uh, a similarity of uh, strings of, uh, so this six W's and one H string data between the new six W's one H and all six W's and one H. And the six W's one H with the closest Levenstein distance is considered to be the important six W's one H that has been continuously updated from the old one. Then uh, after step four, uh, system generates response as in D1 step two and three. So I'll explain <laughs> implementation. Dialogue agent runs in web browser and calls Google Speech API and the backend system. Um, these are backend systems are implemented by JVM language, Java, and Kotlin. And database, uh, there are three databases. Need database is my, uh, uses MySQL and service database uses MySQL and the user database is Mongo database. Uh, needs API server here is implemented with Python and uh, this API calls a GPT chat API. And this is a, a screen of a, a dialogue agent and the dialogue flow. Next, I'll explain an uh, experiment. So this is a, a experiment, experimental setup. 
So the purpose of the experiments uh, to ex to check the research questions for the needs extraction and restoration API. Uh, RQ1 is the needs transformation accurate and comprehensive. And RQ2 is the six W's and one niche elements su sufficiently extracted. So experiment one is about needs extraction API. And experiment two is about restoration API. So first, uh, experiment one. Um, it is conduct. It was conducted in June 2023, and uh, 100 new statements were generated using ChatGPT with GPT 3.5 for uh, 28 different services from various standpoints, including students, elderly, and working people. Like, uh, I want to consult with a doctor via video conference for remote medical care or telemedicine via Zoom. And each need statement contains only one service. So API converts 100 speech into six tables and one niche data in the experiment. And we inputted the need statement to the API and examined the characteristics and service execution conditions of the output results. And this is a result. First, um, characteristics analysis results uh, about content accuracy, content comprehensiveness, and classification accuracy. Uh, content accuracy uh, means whether it does con uh, it contains any false content, and the content comprehensiveness uh, is are all the important information in the utterance extracted. So yes is this gray bar, and uh, no is this white bar. And classification accuracy is uh, is a classification of six tables and one inch elements correct. And uh, the rightmost graph shows whether it meets all of them. Next, uh, this is these are service execution conditions analysis results. So we define the detailed condition and overall condition. So uh, in detailed condition analysis, um, uh, were any of the detailed conditions where, when, who, and whom elements extracted? And the overall condition, in overall condition, uh, was the overall condition why element extracted? And this, uh, this bar shows uh, um, the uh, result is, the result, uh, whether the result meets both conditions and uh, this is a, is a condition. And next, um, experiment two, a need restoration API evaluation. This experiment was also conducted in June 2023, and uh, 106 tables and one H needs data were generated using ChatGPT with GPT 3.5 for 21 different services from various standpoints, including students, elderly, and working people. And uh, API converted 106 tables and one inch data into speech. And we input the need statement to the API and examine the characteristics of the output results. This is the result and the content accuracy and the content comprehensiveness. So uh, in this result, content comprehensiveness means uh, uh, so which uh, whether uh, it covers all important six tables and one inch information in the result. So um, discussion part about uh, RQ1 is the needs transformation accurate and comprehensive. About the needs extraction API, content accuracy was 100%. Uh, and the content comprehensiveness was 96%, and the missing contents were known core items such as I want to have a good time. And the classification accuracy was 89%, with some failures to classify Y element. About the needs restoration API, content accuracy was 94%, with some reversing Y element and what element. 
and content comprehensiveness was 98% with some omissions paraphrased with other expressions. 85% of the extraction API and 92% of the restoration API satisfied all the accuracy, all the characteristics. So um, we, con we consider um, these APIs are high accuracy and comprehensiveness. Moreover, users can be asked to confirm their answers to, to dialogue in the system. About RQ2, is the six W's and one edge elements sufficiently extracted? The six W's and one edge elements were not extracted comprehensively in a single extraction. 67% of the detailed or comprehensive conditions were extracted. So the repeated dialogue is very important. It is, need to, it is needed to compensate for the missing conditions by repeating the dialogue and asking the user about the missing conditions. This is our research conclusion. And the uh, goal of this research is to construct a method to extract six W's and one H needs data from complex natural language needs analysis to improve the diversity and the accuracy of needs extraction. And the key idea is to build a method to extract six W's and one H needs data from complex natural language needs analysis using LLM. So by um, API from API evaluation experiments. Um, it is uh, clear, it was clear that uh, the extraction API achieved 85% and the restoration API achieved 92% accuracy in both accuracy and comprehensiveness. And uh, in the future research, we will evaluate the system by actual users. And that's all my presentation. Thank you for listening.